So there was a really interesting article in La Prensa, a Mexico City newspaper, yesterday about this pandemic and how it's affecting organized crime here in Mexico City. So you know that in the Centro Historico and in the surrounding areas, the criminal gang, or some people call them a cartel, La Union de Tepito, have control over several industries. They control the drug trade, among other things. I tried to explain in my earlier video, I think titled The Mexico City Cartel, all about La Union de Tepito. I explained how they control the drug trade and extortion, kidnapping, etc. cetera. Uh, as I explained in that video, they enforce a system called Cobra del Piso, or Price of the Floor, which is a protection racket. They force people who have a small business open to the public in areas they control to pay a percentage of their earnings to the gang for quote unquote protection. But just like any protection racket, the only protection they provide is from themselves, like pay me or I'll burn your store down. Um, business owners who don't pay can get killed or their businesses get vandalized or destroyed. Sometimes something could happen to their family members, but the most likely outcome of them not paying is getting kidnapped and held for ransom. And evidently the going rate is at minimum 100,000 pesos. But depending on the person or the, biz or the business, that can go up into the millions of pesos. Here's, that's a picture of the article from yesterday in La Prensa. Now, a lot of these businesses around the Centro Historico, such as in the Barrio of Tepito, sell Chinese goods. All kinds of goods from sneakers to sunglasses, toys, appliances, you name it, most of them come from China. Now with the pandemic, these businesses are really hurting and people, not just are people less likely to be out shopping, but the inflow of goods from China has gone way down. It's pretty much impossible to fly to China and return to stuff with stuff to sell or to import stuff from China to sell. So these businesses, especially in Tepito, are having a really hard time right now. So these business owners are speaking out to the press about how La Union de Tepito aren't being fair, not that they were ever fair, the criminals, but, but now they're still demanding that the businesses pay the Cobra del Piso, the protection money, and at the same level, the same payments, even though the businesses are bringing in way less money. In some cases, the businesses are being squeezed for even more money than before, and it's being explained to them by the gang that it's because the gang needs to raise money for the legal fees of Union de Tepito leaders who've been recently arrested and are going through the court system. They need the money to pay for lawyers. So there's been a lot of leaders arrested in the last month. There's a picture of El Lunares. The government seems to be applying a kind of a kingpin strategy to the gang where they arrest the top leaders. I'm gonna to try to make another video about that soon. But that picture is of El Lunares. He was considered the leader and he was recently arrested. And El Lunares, I guess, means the moles because I guess he had a lot of moles on his face, but then he got them removed with plastic surgery. And he was arrested and then released which happens a lot in Mexico, corrupt judges release these wealthy criminals. But then he got arrested again for murder and he's still in jail waiting trial. So anyway, the business owners around the Centro are saying that their backs are against the wall now because they have to pay off the cops, they have to pay normal government fees, and they have to pay the union, the, the gang, the union Tepito, and their earnings are way down because of the coronavirus pandemic. So this is a developing story, but it's really interesting how this global event is impacting not just legitimate small businesses, but also organized crime in a big way. I mean, I guess it's affecting everything. Look at the stock market. Look at the peso, US dollar exchange rate. Everything's messed up. So it's not surprising, but it's interesting nonetheless. 
I'm going to make another video very soon about how this pandemic is affecting the big national cartel, the Cartel de Jalisco, Nueva Generacion. So keep an eye out for that. It's another fascinating story about how the business is being deeply affected, how the cartel business is being deeply affected by something that, you know, they probably didn't see coming just a month ago. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. I just had a video taken down by YouTube. I don't know why it was taken down. It was about counterfeit medication in Mexico, about a recent headline that six out of 10 medications sold in Mexico are either counterfeit, expired, or stolen. Anyway, I'm gonna to try to get that video back up or redo it or something. It was pretty good information. I think nothing inappropriate as far as I can tell. And I think it actually could be helpful to anybody who's buying medication in Mexico. But anyway, thank you for watching. More to come. Bye.